They're one of the most awesome creatures that ever lived, and one of the most intriguing. The largest land animals of all time, they dominated the prehistoric world. Yet their origins were shrouded in mystery, until now. One hundred sixty-five million years after it died, a dinosaur named Atlasaurus would launch a search for one of the holy grails of paleontology. In the mountains of Morocco, a team of scientists is on a mission to excavate the ancient ancestor of Atlasaurus, the first sauropod. What they find could rewrite the history of tracking Africa's dinosaurs. Atlasaurus, the star attraction at the Rabat Museum, is the oldest complete sauropod skeleton ever discovered. It's the ancestor of the famous Brachiosaurus, the most imposing land animal of all time. And here is the initial reconstruction. Yes, the first version, before we had assembled all the bones. Atlasaurus walked the Earth 165 million years ago, during the Jurassic, second of three geologic time periods that make up the Mesozoic era, the age of dinosaurs. Now, geologists Michel Montbaron and Philippe Taquet, head of paleontology at the Museum of Natural History in Paris, hope to solve a mystery. These mammoth sauropods first appeared at the beginning of the Jurassic, but no fossils that old have ever been found. To fill the gap, they need to find the ancestor of Atlasaurus. Two hundred million years ago, before the Atlantic Ocean appeared, North America and Africa were joined in a single land mass. A clue to their common history can be found in the Atlas Mountains of Morocco. In some mountain villages, rocks are special. Dinosaurs walked here. Their bones are scattered everywhere. In most parts of the world, Fossils from the early Jurassic have been worn away by erosion or buried under miles of sediment. But in Morocco, the crumpling of the Atlas Mountains exposed the land containing traces of life in the early Jurassic, the missing chapter in the history of dinosaurs. These traces can't be found on any map. Only an experienced geologist like Michel Montbaron, who has worked in Morocco for 30 years, could find them. <laughs> Following his lead, the team traveled to the village of Azilal, 60 miles from where Atlasaurus was first discovered. Fossils that may be even older unexpectedly turned up in a farmyard. Philippe Taquet and fellow paleontologist Ronan Alain set immediately to work. The owner of the land indicates where he discovered the first fossils, little suspecting their importance. Joining the search is a renowned American paleontologist. Dale Russell of North Carolina State University is anxious to get started. Finding an early Jurassic sauropod is a dream he never thought possible before the discovery of Atlasaurus. The Atlasaurus was pivotal because it proved that primitive middle Jurassic dinosaurs were present here, that earlier dinosaurs might be here as well. And that fills a huge hole in the uh, record of the evolution of dinosaurs. Uncovering a layer of sediment deposited 180 million years ago, 15 million years before Atlasaurus, is a big find. But the team is quickly on the trail of something bigger. 
bones. This is a very, very rich deposit. Just look at that. We can already tell the group of dinosaurs it belongs to. Look at that. See how it's been conserved. We have the thigh bone. Just look at that, an average size sauropod. Much larger than a rhinoceros. Bravo, <laughs> moi. Bravo. We're still in the early Jurassic, the end of the early Jurassic. That is about more than 180 million years ago. That's a time when we know almost nothing about these animals. And there's a very good chance this will be all new to science, so it's very exciting. Wonderful. Excitement soon turns to frustration. The sediment is so brittle, the fossils literally fall apart with the rocks. But for another member of the team, the fun is just beginning. While the paleontologists lick their wounds, geologist Michel Montbaron is out prospecting for ever older terrain. A day's journey from Azilal, he hits pay dirt. An upright slab he thinks is 30 million years older than Atlasaurus. What you are seeing here is a limestone slab from the lower Jurassic, covered with dinosaur footprints, three-toed theropods, most likely. Of course, when these footprints were made, the stone was horizontal. This was a plain covered with mud across which the dinosaurs ran probably in search of food. Naturally, when the drift took place, when the Atlas Mountains folded, these layers shifted. Of course, they were still covered by all the rest of the sediment from the Atlas Mountains and that sediment, uh, those layers, were gradually worn away by erosion. And now they are close to the surface of the earth. They are giving out their footprints, their fossils. The Swiss geologist has called on his fellow countryman, Christian Maillère, a specialist in dinosaur tracks. Can you estimate the height of the animal? With these measurements, no. I'll have to measure the length of the footprint. At first glance, these three toed prints hint at a small animal that's moving fast. From the first digit to number three is about a foot. So the hunch would be about four feet. Okay, I've got it. I've written it down. The prints uh, aren't very clear, uh, but it's a little theropod. The tracks are very straight. I think it's running. But I'll have to do the calculations uh, tonight. It's clear that if we have found footprints on slabs like this one, we could find bones somewhere. Bones at the same level, of course, belonging to the same kind of animal. 195 million years ago, a primeval carnivore scampers through the mud of the early Jurassic and is caught in the act. Was it pursuing its prey? If so, these tantalizing footprints could be an omen of things to come. <laughs>